in the last video we studied about market segmentation as we saw market segmentation was a process of dividing or segmenting the market so that we were trying to find out the most beneficial market the people who would benefit the maximum for whatever i was selling or whatever i was offering those were i was dividing the market based on the gender age group device in this video we will consider product position how the target market would actually perceive my product how they will receive my product is what is product position that is introspecting my products features to understand how the market will receive my product that is product positioning over to next slide here as you can see it, i have listed five points the top five point that i need to consider while doing a product positioning process that is the first thing is who are the competitors and what are they offering already i need to consider that next is the key attributes of my product or service that is the second point third point is the value i am offering to the target customers target market the value of this and how what are the customers needs next is customers that care who are the customers and why do they care about my product that is basically how well i am i am satisfying the customer's need the market you win that is the people who would be using my product and what control do i have over the product offering the people the product that i am offering what control do i have over the product that i am offering to the target market so these are the five things that i can i should consider while i do product position here i am showing that these are some of the different ways i can position my product i can differentiate based, based on the benefits that my product offers or i can differentiate based on the pricing that my product has i can differentiate based on the attributes i can differentiate based on the competitors that i have the other competitors than me the difference i can also highlight the occasions that i am targeting these are some of the positioning of the product strategy some of the ways that i can i can position my product next we will study about an example of product positioning here i am trying to show you an example based on just two attributes that is quality versus price you can see that mercedes benz which is considered a high quality car has the highest price next you can follow up with ferrari which has a slightly lower quality and slightly lower price than mercedes benz next you would consider or that is a little lower and a little lower in quality little lower in price finally you could see at the bottom you have something like a Con Kia Motors, Renault, Volkswagen, Toyota. Based on the quality, the price also decreases. So it is considering this graph is actually considering two attributes: that is price versus quality. As the quality increases, the price also increases. and as the quality decreases the price also decreases you can see this with this example that is over to next slide 
थैंक यू दैट विल बी द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो ऑन प्रोडक्ट पोजिशनिंग प्रोडक्ट पोजिशनिंग एज यू कैन एज यू सॉ वॉज द प्रोसेस ऑफ द ब्रांड ट्राइंग टू डिफरेंशिएट बिटवीन देम सेल्स इट वॉज द प्रोडक्ट हाउ द मार्केट परसीव वन द ब्रांड देर ऑफरिंग नाउ एज ऑलवेज सुटेबल क्वेश्चन if you have any which you will post within the first 7 days will be answered via shorts and reels there is also a parallel blog running which has created details on product positioning and the link to the blog is given in the description below now next we will study customers and product target that is also better called marketing mix we have already differentiated segmented the market this time we have seg- we have seen the product positioning now let's try to link them together that is coming up next is customer product targeting or marketing mix. Thank you once again and have a nice day ahead. Thank you.